roll a fair die 60 times. Let the random variable x be the number of sixes. Find the probability mass function of x and the probability that x is even. So we'll start with the probability mass function f of x. x is a discrete random variable and we're going to begin finding its support. Well, if you roll a fair die 60 times, conceivably you could get zero sixes. You could get one six, you could get two sixes. And although it's unlikely, all 60 of them could uh, come up six. Keeping with our interpretation as f of x being the probability that the random variable capital X assumes the value little x, what we want here is we want the probability of exactly x sixes. Well, we know that the probability of throwing a single six is one sixth, and because each of the tosses is uh, independent of the uh, next toss, that one sixth will be raised to the x power to get the probability of exactly x sixes. But there are also non sixes, and the probability of rolling a non six on a single toss is 5 sixths and if we get x sixes then we get 60 minus x non sixes. What you see right there is the probability of x sixes and 60 minus x non sixes in a particular order. So we need to add a coefficient out front to account for the uh, different orderings and that will be a combination. The combination will be 60 choose x and that is the number of ways that we can place our x sixes amongst the 60 positions and that right there is the probability mass function of x. On the next page is some R code for plotting this particular probability mass function begins by setting the vector x to the integers 0 through 60 and then the next step is to set the vector f to 60 choose x times 1 6 to the x times 5 6 to the 60 minus x and then the third statement plots the uh, probability mass function as spikes because of the type equals h argument couple things to notice about the probability mass function. First of all, it is non-symmetric because our probability of rolling a 6 is 1 sixth. And second of all, if we had to guess how many 6s will appear, you would guess 10 6s and lots of mass is gathered around that point. Later on, we'll define something known as the population mean and 10 in this case is the population mean. Finally, if we want the probability of getting an even number of sixes, that is the probability that the random variable x is 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, all the way up to 60. Since those are mutually exclusive events, you're going to have f of 0 plus f of 2 plus f of 4 all the way up to f of 60. And that can be written as a summation in this fashion. And when you take the probability mass function that we derived two slides ago and put it in for the probability mass function, you will get that expression. If you want this probability calculated as an exact fraction, you don't want to use R, you want to use maple or some other symbolic language so that the fractions will be calculated exactly. So you begin with the maple sum command and what you're summing up is the binomial coefficient 60 choose 2x multiplied by 1 6 raised to the 2x power multiplied by 5 6 to the 60 minus 2x power and that summation runs from x equals 0 up to x equals 30. The exact fraction is given right here and when that is calculated as a floating point number it is just slightly above one half.